Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss static variables in Java. Before start today's session, let us try to recall what have we discussed in our last video. What is instance variable? Can we access instance variable without object name? When do instance variables gets created and destroyed? Does the instance variable have a default value? Can we use access modifiers for instance variables? After watching this video, you will be able to know what is need of static variables, how to create and access static variables. Can we access a static variable with help of object? When do static variables gets created and destroyed? Does the static variable have a default value? We started our discussion about the different types of the variables in Java. In our last two videos, we discussed about local variables and instance variables. In this video, we are going to discuss the third category of the variables, static variables. Let us try to understand first what is the need of static variables. This is the example program to implement instance variables actually. If you observe this, I created two instance variables. This variable is created inside the class but outside the method. So this is the nature of instance variables as we discussed in our last video. If you haven't watched that, please watch that video for the better understanding of this video. In the main method, I created a object student1. The intention of this program is to maintain the student's data. When you create the object student1, a object is created in the heap memory. Separate slots are created for the instance variables, rule number and college name. When you create second and third objects, for those also, memory is allocated in the heap memory and separate slots are maintained for the all instance variables within the object. If we observe these three objects, student1 is a object represent one student, student2 represent another student and so on. In our example, we are trying to maintain the data about the three students and rule number is different from one student to another student. But college name is same for the all the students. Whenever you have this type of the common property for the all the objects, better to create that variable as a static type. In our example, create a variable college name as a static type. Then what happens internally is only single copy is created and that single copy is shared among the all your objects. If you are not creating college name as a static type, each and every object maintains a separate slot for the college name. If you do like that, memory is wasted. If you create 100 objects, 100 slots will be created for the college name. But if you create college name as a static type, only one slot will be created. That one slot is shared among the all your objects. By using the static variables, we can use memory efficiently. We can save the memory. This is main advantage of the static variable concept. We discussed JVM architecture in one of our videos. If you haven't watched that, please watch that for the better understanding of this point. We have five types of the data areas in the JVM. When the class file is loaded into the JVM, first the memory is allocated for the static variables in the method area. This is important point related to the static variables concept. When you create objects, those objects are created within the heap memory. So the sequence of the allocating the memory is first the memory is allocated for the static variables and later the JVM allocate the memory for the objects. This is the reason we can access the static variables without help of the objects. The static variable can be used to refer to the common property of all objects. In our example, the college name is a common property for the all the students. Static variables are also known as class variables because they are associated with the class and that is common for the all objects or all the instances of class. 
Unlike instance variables, we can only have one copy of static variable per class, irrespective of how many objects we create. Depends on your requirement, you can create n number of the objects, but only one static copy is maintained and that will be shared among the all your objects. Static variables declared with static keyword and that should be within the class and outside of the method or constructor or any other block. Syntax to create static variables is static space data type space variable name semicolon. Example static string college name semicolon. This is how to create a static variable. The static variables gets memory only once in the method area at the time of class loading and destroyed at the time of class unloading. Just now in the JVM architecture we observe that when the class is loading into the JVM, first memory is allocated for the static variables and when the class is unloading, nothing but when the program stops the execution, the memory is deallocated for the static variables. Static variables are global variables. In our videos already we discussed about the local variables. The local variable can be accessed within that block in which block we create that. But if you want to access one variable from the any block in your program, you must create that variable as a global variable. If you want to create such type of the global variables, you can use static keyword. We can access the static variables either by object or by using the class name, but recommended to use class name. Syntax to access static variables is class name dot static variable name. Static variables are initialized before any object of that class is created. We have seen that in the JVM architecture. See this example. We are going to create a static variable and we are trying to access that within the same class. We created one class within that we created one non-static variable and one static variable. And to assign the value to the static variables, generally the syntax is class name dot static variable name. But the point is whenever you are using that static variable within the same class, using the class name is optional. Focus here, I am not using the class name, directly I am using static variable name only. Then execute it. Now see the output is college name is Chandrabos. See the second example. In this, I created the static variable in one class and trying to access that static variable from the another class. In such cases, using the class name before the static variable name is compulsory. Execute it. See the output college name is Chandrabos. If you remove the college name, in this program, that will raise an error. When declaring class variables as public static final, then the variable name or should be in the uppercase letters. In my example, I want to use pi value. The pi value is 3.14 that is constant value. If you want to maintain this type of the constant values, in such cases, that static variable name should be right in the uppercase letter. If the static variables are not public and final, the naming syntax is same as instance and local variables. That means whenever you want to maintain a variable as a constant variable, you must use uppercase letter. In the remaining cases, you can use lowercase letters for the variables. If we create two objects of a class to access the static variable, it would be same for all. Static variable will be shared among the all the objects. You can access that static variable with help of the object also. If any changes made to the variable using one of the object, that would reflect when you access it through the other objects. See this example. Here we are creating a static variable and we are trying to access with help of the object. Whenever you are trying to modify the static variable value with help of one object, 
that would reflect to the another object also because that static variable value is shared among the all the objects this is the example to prove that point created a static variable college name and assigning the value chandrabose college rule number is non static that is instance variable in the main method created two objects for the class now see here whenever you are trying to access a static variable with help of the object it will show an error because it is not a static way to access that is why we covered one point using the class name is recommended way to access the static variables anyway let us try to access this with help of the object one i want to assign the college name as patel's college to the college name previously what was the value the college name variable has chandrabos college with help of the object one i want to change the value to the patel's college now i want to check that static variable value what we have with help of the object two then execute it observe the output from object to two college name is patel's college what you need to understand from this example is whenever you are trying to modify the static variable value from the one object obviously that will reflect to the another object value because we are not maintaining separate values all the objects are accessing the same value jvm provides default values to the static variables we covered the same topic in the instance variable also jvm provides default values for the instance variables what are the default values provided by the jvm to instance variable same default values provided for the static variables also for the int values the default value is 0 for float data type the default value is 0.0 for boolean it is false for string it is null see this example in this i declared three static variables first static variable rule number data type is int type second variable data type is float and third variable data type is string type here we are not assigning any value but i am trying to print the value of those variables even though we are not assigning any value jvm provides some default value for the static variables what are the default values provided by the jvm let us see that run it 0 is the default value for the integer and 0.0 is the default value for the float and null is the default value for the string type check your knowledge what have you learned from this video what is the need of static variables how to create and access static variables can we access a static variable with help of object when do static variables gets created and destroyed does the static variable have your default value try to answer all these questions if you are not able to answer these questions watch the video again if this video is useful to you subscribe the channel to get more videos watch and share it thank you